Welcome to today's 3D print and happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Um, these are some of the deals that I have found for the holidays or just general interesting things that you can buy on Amazon. As a reminder, uh, I earn my income through my viewers' patronage. If you join me via Patreon or PayPal or simply using my affiliate links down below, I earn an income from this and I appreciate it. So I am creating individual lists on Amazon for all the interesting things that I find, things that I might think are useful, things I've used. I haven't used everything that is in these links. So for example, the printers page has like 40 or 50 printers in it. I have not used all of them, so take that with a grain of salt. I will be highlighting today for you some of the more interesting deals that I found on Amazon that I think are worth your attention. So stay tuned. Critters, here are some of the deals that I found. I have a new storefront thingamajiggy on Amazon. So it has these different categories you can look in. This is something that's older. I have to migrate these to these other categories. I found out that I can move stuff from wish lists to these things, but I can't move stuff from one of these to one of these. So it'll take me a while to sort them. So right now, most of the 3D printing parts and tools is in today's 3D print. Today's 3D print, I'm going to limit that for um, stuff that people ask me to paste links to, stuff that's intermittent and short-lived. I'll add that to here. Otherwise, stuff that's relatively permanent will be added to these categories here. Um, basically, filament I like will be in here. Anytime I find a really good deal on filament, it'll be in today's 3D print. Printers will be here. Parts, tools, accessories will be here. ABS filament deals is for any time I find a really good deal in filament that's not PLA. That's to avoid people accidentally ordering non-PLA filament. Do be careful in filament I like. There is ABS, PETG, nylon, polycarbonate, etc. in here. So be sure to read what you're ordering before you order it to make sure you can print it. So what have I found today? First of all, honorable mention, JG Aurora. This is their... A3S printer. It gets an honorable mention because it's freaking orange. Okay, it's freaking orange. I want this printer. I don't care that it's a small printer. This is an I3 sized print volume. It's like 200 by 200 or something like that. But it's freaking orange. So I'm going to see if I can get them to send me one before I buy it. <laughs> it's on Amazon for $230. Um, this is interesting. It is, um, I believe Gearbest has this, it's called a T8 and the T9. Well, it's here on Amazon for $359 with a $20 coupon. So you can get this for $339. It's basically a CR10, but very cheap and Amazon Prime shipped. How good is it? I don't know. I have not used it. The Anycubic Chiron is available for $499 Amazon Prime shipped. Yeah, this is the one 3D Maker Noob has. This is the one that I'm drooling over the idea of getting. I'm trying to figure out how to get one. I'll get one eventually. But that is, with this $40 coupon, just under 500 bucks on Amazon. That's 400 by 400 by 450 millimeters. That's almost a 445 printer. And any cubic quality. So that, I would probably trust this. Uh, people love the Anycubic i3. Well, here it is for three twenty-eight with a fifty-dollar coupon. So that's um two hundred and eighty bucks. You can get this printer for two hundred and seventy-nine dollars. And again, prime shipped. So if you love your Anycubic i threes, there you go. This is the one that started the Ultra Base craze. It's not the greatest value anymore in three D printing because it's got a small build volume for its price, but I have one, and it stays active and plugged in as a daily use printer because it's just good. It's just a little expensive compared to other options today. The GTEC A10, $229, $20 coupon, so you can get it for $209. Not the greatest deal, you can get Ender 3s cheaper, but if you do like the A10, here it is for $209, Amazon Prime shipped, which means you have it in two days. If you're thinking some of these prices are higher, well, it's because this is all on Amazon. So this stuff is in the U.S. You can have this stuff by Monday or Tuesday, some of it by Saturday or Sunday. This is the A10M, $299, $20 coupon. So that means you get it for $280, which is not that much higher than the Chinese price. And you get the two-color mixing print. So if you saw me do this prints where it mixes, not just changes color, but can actually actively mix the colors on the console itself. And you can create hybrids of different colors. It's pretty darn cool. The Ender 3, 
$205. That is cheap. I mean, that's that's only what 35 bucks more than the internet prices, 40 bucks more than the internet prices and you get it prime shipped. This is the original one, not the Pro or the um CR20 or anything like that. This is just the Ender 3. But shit, man, it's $205 and you get it on Amazon. You can have this delivered on Sunday. <laughs> Um, this is something new. I'm actually going to buy this. Um, I'm kind of fascinated by PX Malian's designs. They're not the most well executed designs in the world, but they're interesting and very well made. The parts are very well made. Um, so I'm going to give this one a shot. It's only $134 and it's just really freaking cool looking. I like the, the retro industrial look of it. It just looks neat. I'm guessing a non-heated bed. Probably a very small build volume, probably 100 by 100. What is the build volume on this thing? It is 120 by 120 by 150. That's actually not too bad. So 120, 120, 150. But that's just really a fascinating looking printer for the price. It looks like the bed moves back and forth instead of front to back. And the cantilevered hot end is the y-axis that moves front to back. That's pretty fascinating looking. So I'm going to give that one a shot. Here is Tron XY's version of the Ender 3, except that this one um, comes with a color touchscreen. Um, I'm hit or miss with Tron XY for quality. I'm not sure. I mean, this is a pretty safe structure. It's, it's all aluminum extrusion. I have no idea what the quality is. I don't have one. This is $238 with a $15 coupon on Amazon. Uh, $199 for an Ender 3. That is the cheapest you're going to find. I post the 205 as well because this one will probably sell out. Again, $199. That's like 30 bucks above what you get on GearBest, and it will be delivered on Sunday. You really can't argue too much with that kind of a price. That is just dirt cheap. Um, Ender 3 Pro. This is the Pro version that comes with the upgraded... Um, design for the base so it has the better placement of the fan and memory card slot it has the beefed up y-axis tensioner and um, beefed up y-axis rail the 40 by 40 and the meanwhile power supply and it also comes with the c magnet magnetic print surface that creality has it's only good for pla and petg but if that's what you print anyway it's actually very convenient um, but that's the same price they're selling for in china and here you can get it for that price, Amazon Prime shipped. You can have this on Monday. Uh, here's another Ender 3 Pro for $259 from another company. Same thing. Same exact printer. All the upgrades. $259. You can have it on Sunday. <laughs> um, this is another interesting one from PX Malian. I have no experience with it. I don't know anything about it. I'm going to see if possibly maybe they'll send me one. It's claimed to have a 320 by 320 by 320 build volume for 250 bucks, which is really cheap. It's also a two color printer. It has a Y adapter, so you can pull one color and insert another color. That's interesting. Um, it's not a mixer. It's just it's like the CRX. It's just a two color, but it's only 250 dollars. I somehow doubt it'll actually reach 320 millimeter build height, since I have a feeling 320 millimeters means right there, <laughs> which means this stuff is going to hit it long before you get to 320 so let's call it mm, 260 280 but maybe i can modify it to get higher we'll see but um, i'm gonna see if maybe they'll send me that i don't got the money right now to just buy it but that's pretty slick if they've even gone down to a two row display to get the cost down but a nice full metal base which is good seeing as how the structure is just smooth rods and no frame whatsoever this one might benefit from from z bracing it's an interesting looking printer for the price. Um, one of my favorite sets of tools, the Reptor tools that are available on Amazon. They are twelve ninety five with a twenty five percent coupon. Not bad, but these are my absolute favorite tools. This is what I use for removing prints from the printer, along with my Stanley folding chisel. Not available Amazon Prime, but it is available for twenty one dollars and twenty six cents shipped. There are other ways to get this. Um, only the Amazon link here is uh, an affiliate link, but you can also get it from um, resourcesupply.com. It's on sale for $10.30. 
Now, you do have to order $150 to get free shipping, so you'll have to see what the shipping costs. Probably going to be $5 to $8 shipping, which is still not bad. That's going to be $15 to $18, bucks, most likely, for you to order this from resourcesupply.com. You can also get them at Ace. Um, they do have... Um, you can get free store pickup from Ace, so if you don't mind waiting until it gets shipped to a store, or call your local Ace and see if they have it, it's thirteen ninety nine. That's pretty damn cheap. You can also get it for fifteen bucks plus five dollars shipping from Walmart. Now I believe Walmart um, thirty five bucks gets you free shipping. So if you're ordering other stuff from Walmart, you can toss this in when you order and get it for fifteen dollars. And then of course Newegg has it for fifteen dollars. $5 shipping as well. I do not know if they have a free shipping threshold or not on New Egg. They sometimes do, but I'm not sure. So you'll have to play with that. Your best bet is most likely um, if you're shopping from Walmart, Walmart, if you have an ace near you, call them up. If you don't mind waiting, 14 bucks and you got it. It's yours. If you're ordering by some weird freakish chance a whole bunch of stuff from resourcesupply.com, it's $10.30. <laughs> and see what the shipping is. Maybe it's only going to be 3 bucks for shipping, but I doubt it. It's usually 5 to $8 for shipping. Otherwise, Amazon, $21 free shipping, but it might take a week to get here because it's not Prime. And that is it for those deals for now. Um, there's no particularly, oh my god, amazing filament deals. But there are a couple. Somebody named um, Boyer XY has kilogram spools of filament for eleven ninety nine. This is their copper. That's actually pretty nice looking. I might even grab a roll of that. I'm going to guess it's the same source as Mars 3D filament, which we have purchased in the past and has been very reliable. Um, it's the same spool, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's from the same factory. But they have a whole bunch of colors available for $11.99. You have um, black, bronze, copper, dark blue, fluorescent green, gold, ivory white, transparent, and wood. I'm guessing the wood is wood colored. Uh, that does not like wood colored to me. That looks like green to me. <laughs> but um, it's probably just a stock picture. But they have a whole bunch of filaments available for eleven ninety nine a kilogram. PX Malian also has their aqua colored filament on sale for $10.99. That's the only one. The rest of the colors are regular price, but that's their aqua for $10.99. This is uh, the Strong Hero 3D filament that I've been using lately to make those um, 1.2 millimeter really thick prints in that change color throughout. I made the um, printed solid Sir Layers a lot and the Protopasta Known. Well, this stuff is 20 bucks a kilogram. And it's amazing. It has lots of color changes in the filament. So even if you only print a three or four hundred kilogram model, you're going to get a decent number of color changes in there. Very cool. Very cheap. Um, this is a carbon fiber PLA for twenty three dollars a kilogram, and you got a five percent coupon. Um, carbon fiber PLA is just it's not very structurally strong, but it's beautiful. Um, finished prints made with it just look really pretty they just have a very interesting almost semi-metallic matte finish sheen to them they, and they feel nice it's got like almost like a um a spray on stone finish like a sandstone finish or a um very light fabric finish it's just, it looks beautiful not structurally strong but it looks beautiful then if you want a sampler pack um this is from oem mica 3d it's 40 bucks and you get three half kilogram spools that's 1.5 kilograms of silk for 40 bucks not the greatest deal in the world but not the worst deal in the world and it allows you to try three different colors all at once so you get a half kilogram roll of each of those really nice silver copper and gold um, silky filaments to play with before you dive in and purchase full rolls of them strong hero 3d also has a nice little selection here these are each 200 gram spools um, so you get a, you get, I believe it's five different 200 gram samples of their gold, silver, copper, bronze, and brass. So you get to try out their, these are more satin silk, so they're not quite um, silk like 3D Cytotech Ultra or Polyalchemy Elixir, but they're more of a satin, kind of like what um, Atomic Filament does. 
but they have those a sampler pack you could buy for 28 bucks and it gives you um it's one kilogram because you're getting five samples um so it's 28 bucks a kilogram which is actually pretty damn cheap for silk pla but this allows you to try the five different colors before spending the money to buy full kilogram rolls so you can get an idea of what they look like and how you will use them best which is pretty cool and then of course Zyro, they have their um, marble filament for $22 a kilogram. Very cheap for this filament. I've made the uh, giant um, law, not on Jobot out of this filament, and it came out amazing. This is just beautiful, beautiful filament. If you print, if you like printing heads of statues and stuff like that, what I usually do is I use atomic hot white for the bust. And then I use this marble filament for the plinth that the bust sits on. And it's gorgeous for that. It's just a very pretty filament. They, these are non-abrasive. The black specs is just black PLA. So it's just little bits of shredded up black PLA mixed in with the white. And it gives you that very, very interesting marbleized stone-like effect. So that's it. Your best of deal is going to be the... Um, the bauer xy filament and the px malian if you want the cheap cheap filament it's 11 dollars a kilogram they print fine i've never had a problem with them assuming the bauer looks like the 3d mars which it probably is uh that's it so i want to say thank you very much for looking and i have to look at that orange printer again just because that's just freaking epic that they made an orange one <laughs> I wish they did this with the, the larger one, but oh, that's just cool. But um, don't forget the links down below. If you ever need to see my links down below, they're always at the bottom here under support me. So in my Patreon page to support me monthly, PayPal for one-time support. I do prefer PayPal since they only take a 3% versus YouTube's a 30%. My social media links are there and my printer profiles are there. So look for this support me section in every single one of my current videos. If it's one of the last hundred videos, it should have these links in there. And you'll be able to find me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Although I don't go to Facebook very often. My printer profiles where I put all my Simplify 3D profiles and also sample G-code. So if you're having a problem with your printer and you want me to help you out with it, no problem. Go ahead and ask me. But do me a favor and try printing my... If it's a print quality issue... Try printing one of my prints for your printer, like the Ender 3 one will work on pretty much any printer. If that prints okay, then it's probably a hardware um, or a slicer issue, and we'll have to figure out what you're doing wrong in the slicer. If that does not print okay, then it's a hardware issue, and we'll have to diagnose what's wrong physically with your printer. But always look for that in my videos if you want to support me, or if you wish to contact me, or if you wish to check out my printer profiles and my sample G-code for you to test your printer and see how well it's working. That's it. You guys have a great day. And, oh, uh, other people. Printed Solid. I don't have an affiliate account with them. But Printed Solid is going to be having um, sales today. And so is Matter Hackers. That'll be in the description of this video. And I believe Protopasta and Filamentum are also having sales today. So most of the companies out there are having some sort of a sale, so do check them out. A couple of GearBest specials. The CR-10S Pro, $619 coupon code brings it down to $589. You have to wait for Chinese shipping, so it'll take, you know, two to four weeks, two to five weeks to get here. But my God, $589 for the CR-10S Pro. They have a coupon G Bender 3PL to get the Ender 3 for $159. And you can snag up the original CR10S for $420 or $410 after you apply the coupon. They have a specials page for Black Friday. I didn't see anything in there that was particularly, oh my god, you have to have the three that I thought were most interesting. I have posted in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching it. I know this is pretty long, but it's also a pretty big holiday event so i hope you guys enjoy your shopping and don't forget to use those affiliate links they are half of my income and i greatly appreciate it you guys have a wonderful day